Two and a half years ago, I joined a company that believes you should be able to live and work from anywhere you want. I became part of a distributed team in a global workforce. I hate these terms. You see, what's lacking in all of these labels is precisely the thing that can make or break any team. It's these connections that you either have or you don't have with all of these humans. Let me clarify, remote or connected working is awesome, but I didn't always feel this way. As a remote project manager in charge of releasing big enterprise software for clients, I've been in that awful situation where the front page isn't loading and no one is around to help me. But even though, yes, my lead developer was 3,000 miles away, I couldn't blame distributed teams for this. It was me. I didn't even tell the team about the release. It was me, it was my outdated project management approach. I realized that if I wanted to make this work, this remote distributed project management, I had to connect and get a whole lot closer to my team up front, pick the right tools to communicate more effectively, and ultimately let go and just embrace it for what it is. At Intridio, we use HipChat to stay connected. Every project team gets their own chat room, and then there's these water cooler chats for all the developers, all the designers, all the project managers. But the thing is, if you hire the right people and you set the right tone, you really shouldn't have to force it. Now, connected isn't limited to just your immediate team or even your company. I happen to work in a co-working space where I geek out with brilliant people on Node.js and mobile game design. And here's the thing, I bring it back. As a team, we are smarter, faster, and more plugged in because we're not in our own echo chamber. But of course, do you grab lunch with your friends, go out for a run, play with your dog? We get these great little bursts of energy from all these activities, so why not incorporate it into your workday? Over the years, we've used a lot of tools to stay connected. Some we've abandoned, but it's not the tool, it's how you use it. For example, we don't make as many Skype calls as you would expect, but we do have these recurring meetings, go-to meetings, where we show our faces, we stick to an agenda to make sure that we don't waste any of these precious meetings where we're all together at the same time. But those different time zones could work for you. I've learned to write incredibly detailed and clear user stories and specs, which I feed into a project management tool that I share with my team so they can pick that baton right up when they sign on and I sign off. You start to learn your coworkers' preferences and what they respond to the best, whether it's email or IM or hip chat or, God forbid, the cell phone. But I think the biggest lesson that I've learned so far is just simply let go, especially of this expectation that everything needs to happen right now, when I need it to, on my time. I've completely overhauled the way that I work in order to plan better in advance and accommodate other people's schedules. When you're working with East Coast, West Coast, China, Italy, Vietnam, night owls, early birds, you might feel pressure to always be on, but relax. Just focus on doing your work and doing it well. Again, retool the way that you work so that you can put your questions out there and expect your coworkers to give you advice, but don't make it be this immediate dependency. Put your trust in asynchronous communication. And if you still harbor any stigma about remote or connected teams, or maybe you're just considering whether to make the switch, know this, it's all or nothing. Whether it's in your culture, uh, if it's not, it won't work. I'll leave you with my favorite quote from Ben, a designer that I work with. He said, just got to run upstairs and see my son take his first steps. I love working from home, you would too. So you see, it's not just work, it's a lifestyle, one that I can't imagine having any other way. Thank you so much, my name is Patty Chan, my company is Intridia. Welcome to the future of work.